Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at angles formed by intersecting secants. So we have the problem secants ABC and ADE intersect at point A. If the measure of angle A is 40 degrees and the measure of arc CE is equal to 150 degrees, we need to find the measure of arc BD. That is, we're targeting this arc here. So we note that in general, we have a circle with two intersecting secants. The arcs intercepted by these two secants, we could set up an equation where we have the measure of arc CE minus the measure of arc BD divided by 2 is equal to the measure of this angle A. So we're going to use that to find the measure of arc BD in this problem. But the first thing we want to do is we want to label the information that was given to us. We know that the measure of angle A is equal to 40 degrees. And we also know that the measure of arc CE is equal to 150 degrees. So what this allows us to do is now when we set up this equation, we have the measure of angle A is equal to and now we have the measure of arc CE minus the measure of arc BD divided by 2. So now all we need to do is substitute the information that was given to us to find the one unknown piece of information. We know the measure of angle A and we know the measure of arc CE. And we're going to use those two pieces of information to find the measure of arc BD. So now we substitute, we have the measure of angle A is 40 degrees, so we have 40 degrees equals, and now the measure of arc CE is 150 degrees, so now we have minus the measure of arc BD, all divided by 2. So now to solve for the measure of arc BD, we could cross multiply. We could call this 40 degrees divided by 1, and now we have 2 times 40 degrees is 80 degrees, and now we could use a distributive property for 1 times 150 degrees minus the measure of arc BD, but 1 is the identity element, so we could just rewrite this expression here. So we have 80 degrees equals 150 degrees minus the measure of arc BD. So now to solve for the measure of arc BD, what we could do is we could subtract 80 degrees from both sides of this equation. Now on the left hand side, 80 degrees minus 80 degrees will cancel. So we have 0 equals, and now 150 degrees minus 80 degrees is 70 degrees. So we have 70 degrees minus the measure of arc BD. But now I'm just going to rewrite this equation over here. We have 0 equals 70 degrees minus the measure of arc BD. All we need to do now is add the measure of arc BD to both sides of this equation. And this gives us our final answer. We have the measure of arc BD is equal to 70 degrees. So we could also label this segment here. We have that this is 70 degrees. So this theorem here is very useful for finding the missing arc measure or the missing angle involved when we have two intersecting secants forming an angle outside of the circle. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on angles formed by intersecting secants. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.